Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. And now I'm going to answer question number three from the January 2021 P4, the Pure Mathematics 4 paper from Edexcel <coughs> International A level. Here is a question which is actually quite a short question. It's only worth two marks, but it's on the new topic of uh, proof by contradiction, which has just been added to the new P4 syllabus. Um, this is a bit of a, a quite a simple question actually this particular one <clears throat> a lot easier than you might think it is all right so first of all it says prove by contradiction that there is no greatest odd integer so first of all you have to assume okay that there is a greatest odd integer so we say let's assume that let's call it say n is the greatest odd integer the greatest odd integer so we made an assumption that there's no integer that's odd greater than n okay now we've got to show that this leads to a contradiction which is a pretty simple one because i know that you can say however n plus 2 is odd if n is odd, right? Because the odd numbers are separated by by two, um, by two basically. So n plus two will also be odd, and we can say that n plus two is greater than n, and that is a contradiction. It contradicts our original statement. Okay, therefore, there is no. There is no greatest odd integer and that's it that's the two marks simple as that okay so nothing really complicated here basically you assume the opposite you assume that they say prove by contradiction that there's no greatest odd integer so you say assume that n is the greatest odd integer so you've called a random number n and then you show that of course you can add two to that number is going to be odd therefore there is a number which is greater than the one that we assumed was the greatest odd integer and it's greater than it so therefore there's a contradiction in our original statement so we have therefore proved by contradiction that statement we prove basically that there is no greatest odd integer that's what we've done so therefore we can say this is uh, let me write that bit neater contradiction Okay, and that's it. That's the two marks for that question. Very simple. Okay, so we first assumed that it was the greatest, that we assumed the opposite. We assumed that n is the greatest odd integer, assuming the opposite of what we have to prove. And then we showed that it led to a contradiction and we gave our conclusion. You should always give a conclusion as well. So you need to assume the, you know, we have to assume the opposite of what's been said in the beginning. And then we have to show there's a contradiction, and then we have to state, you know, the basically what we're showing that that there is no greatest odd integer. We have to state the thing that we proved. Okay, so there we have it. That's question three. Very simple, and um, not much. Um, okay, more more than that. So, proof by contradiction is something that a lot of students get confused by. Actually, it's it's quite an easy thing, and um, it just depends on the type of question you get. This one is a pretty simple one. Okay, so this could have been assumed, proved by contradiction that there's no greatest integer or that there's no greatest even integer. You'd, you'd follow the same kind of method. If you said proved by contradiction that there's no greatest integer, then you'd say let n be the greatest integer. And then you can say, okay, n plus 1 is greater than it and n plus 1 is still an integer. Therefore, there's a contradiction. And if you said assume that there's no greatest even integer, you'd do exactly the same thing as we've done here, except you'd just write even. Because, of course, even numbers are separated by each other by 2 as well. So you'd say, however, n plus 2 is even. If n is even, therefore, we can say n plus 2 is greater than n. It's a contradiction. So you'd follow a very similar kind of uh, method, whether it said greatest integer or greatest even integer or greatest odd integer. Okay, so there we have it. Answer for question number 3. Other questions from this paper of January 2021, paper 4, will be found in the playlist that should appear up here. 
Um, other questions from this topic of proof by contradiction will be found in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Top of the page here, you'll find another link to another past paper you might want to watch. Thank you for watching.